<clears throat> this is the last like negative thing I'm gonna say, and then I have to just get back to my trying to drum up positivity with my little activities. That's all I should really do is I should just do little activities and try to feel good. Because if I look around, it's fucking bleak. <clears throat> What's my point? Uh, just on Tinder. If I open up Tinder, it's really like a portal to darkness. Because I basically realized that, like, there's all these women on Tinder. Like, they'll I'll get matched. Like, I'll match with, like, women on Tinder. But then when I mess... Like, I'm very naive. I don't understand, like, the way the world works. But women on Tinder, when I match them, they're kind of like... Like, I'll get matches. But then I'll message them and I'll say like, hey, like I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. Let's have sex. And they just don't say anything. Or they'll like unmatch me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I thought you were attracted to me. Let's have sex. They have like all these applicants, like women. Basically, they're like, I'm pretty. And you, I have all these people who are trying to fuck me. What are you going to do to get your dick in my vagina? Like this other guy, he's going to pay for my dinner. He's going to take me to Tahiti or something like that. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay to fuck you. And they're like, well, it's a seller's market. Like they have, I think there's just market forces. There's market forces where just these people, they're prettier and they're more desirable than men. Men are kind of like gross. They got like facial hair. Women are pretty dainty, beautiful creatures. And so people want to get close to them. Men are like, if they, women are like, if you want to get close to me, you got to like pay for it. That seems to be the situation for like an older guy. And when I, I just like, I'm not going to like pay anybody to sleep with them. And so they're like, well, then I've got plenty of guys who will. And so I think basically dating is kind of over too. And that will never make sense to me. And I, I can't imagine slaving away and paying just to sleep with somebody. But I guess I want to ask the world, like that's, I guess what most men do. Most men just kind of, they're doing some job so that some woman is like, I have the vagina and you should, some other man will pay for it. And so I guess just the, the pretty vaginas, they're just going to, you're, you're going to have to pay for them or you're going to have to be like a really studly guy. And as an older guy, you can't really look like a studly, sexy guy anymore. So it's kind of like, it just seems like if I'm going to have sex with somebody I can get a boner for, they're going to want money and I'm never going to pay for it. And so it seems like sex is basically over because it, it's weird. Like if I just message women, they're like, uh, excuse me, like you need to come to me with some sort of offer. You need to like, and I'm like, I don't want to like pay for sex. And so, well, this other guy will pay for sex. So it's kind of, I want to ask the world, is that basically the way the world works for older people? It's just men, they basically have to like pay and shovel shit to get dick and vagina like uh, American Gothic. And I feel like the world would say, yes, yes, that's the way it is. That's the way it kind of always was. And so if you want vagina, you got to pay for it. And so I'm just like, well, then I guess no more vagina for me. Or because like women can always, it's, it's a seller's market. So women, they can get some guy to basically pay all their bills if they have like a pretty face and big butt and big boobs. And so why would they go with some guy not willing to pay for it? It's market forces. As long as women, as long as there's men willing to just pay for vagina and even just being a provider, like this guy, the standard American, just typical life seems to be that like older dude, he's going to be a provider, which basically means paying for sex. And so as long as there's men willing to do that, which there seem to be quite a few of those, the guy who's like, I'm not going to pay for that because I think that's basically seems like prostitution. Well, then no pussy. Or the person who can't get any offer, like if I get somebody who wants to sleep with me, they're just going to be some lady who just basically nobody's willing to pay for their vagina and they're going to be really not attractive. And I'm going to be like, well, I don't even want to have sex with that person. So what's the point? I think basically sex is basically over. And so uh, because I don't want to pay for it. And it just I, it's really baffling to me that like most men really do want to pay for that like most men see this as like yeah that's the way things are like women are like i have a vagina and you should like give me a house and you should pay my bills for access to my vagina and i'm like dude that's like a huge cause like that's i must be i'm not gay like i've never jerked off to a man but that it just seems like no pussy is worth that i could never imagine doing that i could never imagine just every time if, if i hated my job and I came home to some lady and the lady was like, my hero, you're my, hero. I'd be like, you don't like me. You just like my money. And I wonder if just, this is a really bleak thing is I just wonder if just sometimes I think everything's physical and if everything's physical, like I always say this thing in the morning where I say like, it doesn't seem like there's a soul. And if there really is no soul and if everything really is physical, then it's like, of course women don't 
really like men. There is no such thing as love. Love might exist for a kid, but if women, they want that life. They want that life and they want they want what they can get for their pussy and then men, they don't even really love women. They want pretty face, big butt, big boobs and just loving somebody for their soul, that's some like movie bullshit. Cuz if somebody loves somebody for their soul, there would there wouldn't be single people at old folks homes. There would be somebody there would be some old folks guy who had some beautiful wife because she's like, I just love your soul. You never see that. And there would be some like butt ugly lady who is with some handsome guy who's like, I just love you for your soul. You never see that. You see some sort of exchange of prettiness for money, which is proportionate to their prettiness. And then maybe people kind of like hang on and they live like uh, relatives until their old age. But like, what's your point? That seems like the way things actually are. And when I was young, I didn't really believe in that because when I was young, I was still cute and I had like potential to get a career that there were some women who were like, well, he might make money and he's kind of handsome enough. But now that I'm older, it's like, oh, of course, like if they don't like you, they want your money. If it's kind of like, I thought, isn't somebody going to love me for me like my parents did? No, because there isn't really like a, I think, I really think there isn't like a you. There, the, I think... I think there is no soul. I think kind of like to some degree everything's physical. Even the things in your brain are kind of physical. What's my point? Just if I see things on those terms, it's like of course, like everything's kind of shallow and uh, you might have parents that love you, but after that it's going to be some kind of exchange. And if you're not willing to exchange with the market demand for sexy pussy, then no sexy pussy. And so I'm not willing to pay for sexy pussy. I'm not attractive enough to get sexy pussy without paying for it. I think there's no more sexy pussy. So I accept that. And I'm just going to do my little old man activities in my freedom. But I don't want to shack up with some older woman who ha who's a single mom or something and I'm not really attracted to. So I think that's just what a lot of people do. There's a lot of single people around here. There's that uh, Eleanor Rigby song by the Beatles where they say, all the lonely people, Eleanor Rigby, the old man, is right next to... Uh, or Eleanor Rigby, the old lady, is right next to Father Mackenzie, the old man. Why don't they get together? Because they're old and unattractive, and they're not attractive to each other anymore, and just old people. There's no porn with 50-year-olds, and so I just think, like, yeah, sex is basically over. Sexy times are for sexy people. Sexy people are in their 20s and 30s, and after that, there's some sort of sordid paying for it, and I don't want to pay for it. So basically, it's fucking over. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy my little time before, yeah, before I'm dead, and that's it. Okay.